So in this session, we'll do LSNW project uh, wherein we first, uh, you know, access that uh, access the file from our local system uh, and from the application server file. So for that, first of all, let us go ahead and upload the file into the uh, application server file. So that for that, I'm opening CG3Z transaction in which I'm giving I'm accessing the file name and the file name happens to be. Vendor 3. So we'll just select that, and uh, here this is the path into which we are going to access this file. So the slash Vikramaditya 104 is what we have, and uh, we we can have it as BIN or ASC American Standard Code. So we'll go for ASCI, ASC, say, say, okay. And once it's been done, hello. And once it's been done, so we can go ahead and check that file in the A11 transaction. Let us confirm that that is there. So normally the client provides us this file in the A11 transaction. So they will upload it. We are not going to upload it. They'll upload it um, with their own uh, credentials and then they will just give us the file name. So in some certain cases to hide the confidentiality of that uh, file, they will not allow you to open the file. So you can access the file, but you will not be able to open the file. So always remember that there is something called work. That is what will be open. That, that is what we can open here. And here we can just say, okay, want to confirm that uh, that file is uploaded successfully. So here Vikramaditya 7 is what we have. Let us see that so this is the data that we have here, but here, one semicolon okay yeah come okay so hash is coming by default here and that is something which we need to change here uh, during the load so let us quickly go ahead and uh, into the lsnw transaction so in the lsnw transaction let us go ahead and uh, create this there is already a project i'm going to sub project and uh, sub project is also there i'm creating a new object here click on create create new master data say ok and then just click on execute and we'll get the first step in the first step we'll have this so since we have taken the same same project which we had done earlier uh, we can quickly go ahead with the recording so we already have the recording so we'll select this because it's the same project the advantage is previously since we already done it that recording will come here so we can just save it and uh, we can just save that file save it and uh, we can go ahead into the project as well so we can get into the recording here recording overview we can just see this so the recording is already there so what we'll do is we'll just go back and uh, go to the next step maintain source structure so in the maintain source structure we are selecting this display change and click on this create and then here we are giving it1 and this is vendor details say okay and then once save it back then we have the source fields in the source fields we have this select this display change and click on create so vendor this is LIFNR vendor number and the length is 16 and then we have this select this LIFNR click on create ekorg account group 4 so this is the file that we want to upload through the lesson w so we'll just uh, select this path okay. we'll just select this path and also just select this file name Okay, so we'll go ahead with the, this file name. 
and uh, let me minimize this let us go back to the file name so we are creating all the field names we are creating all the field names with their properties respective properties so we'll go ahead with this and then we have this srtl search term and search term and this we have this s30 and then we have this srtl search and srtl and then we have this land one this is a country land this three and a land one so let's say okay so then we have this uh, WIRS, WIRS, and then we have this currency, then we have this 5, say ok, say save, and once it's once all the field names have been created, I'm going back, and maintain field structure, these are the field names, ok, display change, save, back, then we have the field mapping and conversion rules we are not doing anything here just revisiting so lfnr create and change source field lfnr ekorg source field ekorg ktokk source field ktokk anrd source field NRD. Okay. Name one source field. Name one. Then we have SORTL source field. SORTL. Then we have land one source field land one WIRS WIRS source field WIRS save So we have this these are the values we have say ok and once it's been saved back maintain fixed values so fixed values we are not we are not doing anything here just save back and go to the specify files this is the place where we have to select like a C data instead of on the pc so on the r3 server is what we have to select click on display change click on create and here we'll be selecting the file name here and this is the file path in this we have to go for vikramaditya 7 i guess that's the file name let me recheck that so let me recheck that in this folder we will double click on this we'll be having that file Yeah, 104. Okay, so 104 is the file that we have to select. Let me minimize now that we have confirmed that. Now this is 104 and the file name is vendor data 103. So the, it's a comma separated value. We have to see, change it to comma separated and uh, Okay, if at all if you have the field names at the start of the start of the recording, let us select this field names. Previously in the in the other file we had the field names. So if you select that, first row will be ignored with that. Okay. So just say okay now. And once it's been done, save. Okay, so we need to change the length of it because length is becoming too long, it seems. Just select that and we'll go for this as V1. 
get working. So once it's done, we'll go ahead with a save. Once it's been saved, back, assign files, okay. So this assign files is already done. Click on save, back, read data. Save execute. So here we'll go ahead with 1 and 10. Say OK, execute. OK, so we have this data being loaded here. And just have a look at it. This is the data. Three records have been loaded. So we just come back. Display rate data, say execute one. So, this is the rate data we have, Back. so convert data. So 1 to 10, execute, so this is a convert data, and then we have back, so convert data is over, now we have to create Click on this display kind of data, click on execute and first to any number of records, just say OK. And once we have successfully uploaded this data, and then we have to go for the batch input session, select and batch input session, and I'm creating it as 10 records, execute. So three records have been successfully uploaded. So we'll run the batch input session. So we'll select that, click on process, say OK. So we have this data here. Say OK. These are being loaded. OK. Mm. So when that it has verified, OK. OK. Mm -hmm. This is done. So we are we are uh, saving this data. Mm -hmm. So this is saved successfully. So this is the first record and the second record and third record. So these three records we are loading here. Now that we can see that this is successfully uploaded, uh, we are going for the next uh, value now. The next value is getting updated here. Yeah, this is also being done and this also this record is also getting loaded here. And once it's been done, we'll go for the third record as well.
So in this way, we have successfully uploaded the data from the application server file. Okay, now that we have successfully uploaded this data, we'll go to SC11 transaction and check this data in the LF11 table. And check it in the LF11 table. the data which was created today so i'll execute this and uh, we can see this in the database table lf1 i've opened sc16n and uh, giving the created on date so that we can see whether when it was created so so here we can see that tanya navin and kit these are the records that we just now created and these were successfully uploaded actually we have done it uh, three two times that's why it was uploaded uh, again okay so these are the values that were up, that were created today with this we can see we can confirm that this is successfully uploaded into the system with this this project of uh, lsmw using the using the application server is done